How much do Americans want to help people? Well, you know, don't despair because see, part of it is you can. Oh, wait a minute. On Obamacare, you can no longer keep your doctor nor your health care. You might you might have to give your cell phone as well as your cable bill. But don't worry, that extra money is really just a donation to help others get health care. Mm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I'm going to try the next one. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, well, yeah, five, the same five Republicans that the president can count on every single time he wants to spend money and raise taxes voted, you know, they're going to, in a bipartisan effort with the Senate to give these unfortunate people that are losing their unemployment benefits uh, money because they, here's what they said you know you know well it's it helps the economy grow by giving these people welfare that's exactly what the democrats are saying here's a good one too all five of the senators that are saying that are all up for re-election and all of them look like they may lose their seats in the primaries oh yeah and they're all thinking they said there is no truth that they're thinking of moving to the democratic party to win their seats and Freedom Works endorses McConnell primary folks. Senate race tightening? No, they think that McConnell's one of them is going, he's one of those five that made the agreement and they said, he, you know, you really got to be a moron to come out and say that if those people that are on, uh, on unemployment for five years, well, that they should be being trained, but uh, he said that the money that we're helping them helps the economy grow. No, it doesn't. So. And convention construction could hinder tourism shells in San Diego. Yeah, that's basically screwing the Comic Con. I wondered why they switched to the system they did, where what? it's either one day only, or you can you cannot get a four day pass to the Comic Con anymore. It's one day or three days with an interruption in those three days. Wait, they're doing all this construction. Or? They're they're rebuilding the convention center while the conventions are going on, and they figure that's going to hurt the thing. I mean. We didn't even get answers back on them, so... Oh, yeah, well, we're going to have to call them. Missing plane sent signals to satellite for hours. Well, yeah, they, uh, they still refused to admit that it was hijacked, and they still refused to admit they probably, if they're wave hopping, they know they were wave hopping because they disappeared from underneath the radar while the radar was still watching it, and it never came up. Which means the pilot was wave hopping, and if here's a good one, if they were, they said, well, they have to have at least a mile to, to land. I can guarantee you, I once landed a B-29 by hopping a fence to put it into the area it was supposed to go, and they said, well, you have to have a long runway for the last B-29. Well, I didn't know the fence was there. I had a long runway, but I landed it on half the runway you're supposed to, and I also landed things on top of carriers that aren't supposed to be landed on top of carriers. So you can land a plane where you have to land it. And Catholics, Evangelicals, press GOP on immigration. Oh, uh, they're basically, you know, <coughs> well, it's irrelevant this morning because the President of the United States is stopping the deportations on humanitarian reasons, which means he just simply, he opened the door and said anyone that wants to come into this country can now come into the country. And, I mean, the, the one person said, one of the Democrats running for the Senate said, he said, this man, he, he, every day he thinks of some new way to make certain that I'm not going to get reelected because my state is heavily anti-illegal alien, so he's going to let everyone in. Mm -hmm. And Deal reached in the Senate to review, renew jobless benefits. Yeah. Five, they said it will get, um, with the five Republicans, they've got 60 votes, which means they can, they don't even have to have um, the, 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 the Republicans have 45 votes, they need 41 to stop it, and they don't have it. So it's just five people, I think Lindsey Graham, John McCain, uh, Mitch McConnell, five Republicans that are more than likely going to lose their seats in the primaries. And slowing Japan economy stokes tax rise fears. Well, yeah, uh, it's, um, you know, people basically, the economy never was good, and no one has ever, they, okay, they figure, well, if the Chinese can lie about their economy being better than what it is, how do you know the Americans aren't lying about it? Well, they are. And NATO deploys surveillance planes to Ukraine border. Well, yeah, they said that the Russians today laughably, I mean, 
they, um, they, 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 well, I heard one of the people, one of the, the uh, Europeans, he said, well, everybody that's a, um, a stupid moron in this room, please raise their hand. Oh, Mr. Kerry just rose his hand because he actually believed it. He's going to tell, he's basically, uh, the Russians have guaranteed they're not invading the Ukraine. They've got 30,000 troops setting in, in Crimea, the Navy setting in Crimea, 150,000 troops dipping in and out of the Ukraine. They've already invaded it. But McCary has their promise that they're not invading. And young Republicans back GOP stance against LGBT marriage rights. Yeah. The, the problem is, is that our Constitution does not give you, the. Uh, there's nothing in the Constitution that guarantees you the right of marriage. That is a local issue only. But what has happened is Afro-Americans are pissed. They're trying to make it a civil rights area. On uh, here, I, I once talked to Jesse Helms, and this I do believe Jesse Helms. Jesse Helms said, I do not approve of lifestyle choices, but if they have an illness, I'll fight to the to my last breath to help a people with an illness, yeah. you know. And but no, they won't admit that there's a problem. They said it's their choice. Yeah. No, um, you you don't have a choice to marry, you know, your daughter. You don't have a choice to marry a six-year-old, yeah. but you can have a choice to marry people that the state has said you cannot marry. So. And North Dakota Kelsey is the first American arrested in jail with drones help. I know this is the most asinine thing, drones. First of all, here's the deal is, if a drone comes over your property and it's hovering, in your, hovering over your backyard, you have every right in the universe to blow the thing out of the sky. And um, they basically got to have to pass laws in every single city, every inch of ground. Isn't that an invasion of privacy? Oh, yeah. They said that, here's the trick is, if it flies way up above you, then they can, there's nothing you can do about it. But if, it, if you can sit there and see it, by your naked eye, it can see you, and it has no business being there. Well, it's got a cow thief. Yeah. Uh, Iran eyes Asian and Swiss banks for sanctions free trade. Yeah, I mean, well, because Obama basically just caved in on everything to everybody. And judge, some immigrants can't be held without bond. Well, I know. Basically, uh, as of this, as of that this morning. They're no longer going to hold the illegal immigrants because deportation is, uh, de they said unless you're a criminal, let's see, what was it, the guy in San Francisco had been charged three times with, with, uh, with, with sexual assault and then other things, a robbery, and then he killed people in an automobile and they still didn't throw him out. Oh, it didn't? Because San Francisco is, um, is a, a, you know, one of these cities where you, it's a, you, know, where you can go in and not be arrested for no matter. Well, the law specifically says they have to be deported if they commit crimes, but the Obama administration, Eric Holder is no longer going to enforce. He's no longer supplying evidence that they may be criminals in order to keep them in the country. Mm -hmm. And Judge, some immigrants can't be held without bond. Yeah, that's what we can talk about. Oh. And France is Holland that feels backlash over Valerie Duffy. Uh, yeah, that's, um, you know, the, the it's just, what happens is these people have got so much stock and stuff that they're basically here. Uh, well, here's the thing is, if you have a product, if you have a lot of stock and you want to drive the prices down so that you can buy more stock, you dump the stock you have. And that's what they're doing with that company. Somebody is dumping the stock massively so that they can pick it up. But what they dump it and then somebody else buys it in. Yeah, and then it ends up in the hands of the people who are doing the stuff. It's technically illegal, but it's not. And, and two Democrats joined exodus from U.S. Congress. The Democrats basically, um, most of the people that are retiring because they can't win their seats are Democrats. I mean, oh, really? they got the Democrats have to hold. Here's the thing is, the Democrats only had, you know, one third of the Senate is up every, um, every two years. Uh, but what happens is the, the majority of the one-third of the Senate is, that is up for re-election are Democrats because so many Democrats are leaving their offices because they can't win re-election. Which is why even Chris Matthews said it's going to be a rout. And he depends upon the President of the United States from the Oval Office saving our nation from the Republican Senate and House. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubble is from Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. You know, basically when you know better you shouldn't do it, but you do it anyway.